Super K-Pop. Whenever we hear an old song, we always tend to reminisce back to time when we first heard that song. Well, songs have this magic ability to save memories, and they take us on a trip to the past. Now, it's said that there are no boundaries to love, and age doesn't matter. I think music is just as amazing as that. This is Super K-Pop, and I'm your DJ, One Kind. And that was by 4-Minute Music. What a great song. And uh, today is Saturday. Happy Saturday. And uh, for me, I enjoyed my uh, Lunar New Year holidays, enjoying delicious food. And I hope everyone is having a great weekend. And uh, welcome to Super K-Pop. Now, let me tell you how you can tune in. First, log on to www.idangradio.com and click on the on-air button. Second, you can download the Adidang Radio application on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. And third, if you're in the Jeju Island, turn your radio dials to 88.7 in the Jeju area, 88.1 in the Sogipo area, and 101.9 in the Daejeong area. Fourth, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. No matter how you're tuning in, please log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answer store quizzes, and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K Pop message board. Hong Kong DBC's digital channel, Monday through Friday, 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And also, uh, if you're in Busan, you can join with us. Tune your radio on Busan EFM, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can listen to Adidang Radio through TuneIn, an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. All right, now it's time to uh, check out two more songs. So here it is, Geeks featuring Sanchez, Side Mirror Girl, and Shorty featuring K-Will, Snapback Girl. All right, those two songs were by Geeks featuring Sanchez, Side Mirror Girl, and Shorty featuring K-Will, Snapback Girl. All right, now it's time to read uh, some of your lovely messages. And the first message comes from USA. It's Joanna. Hello, Joanna, and she says, hello, DJ One Kind and Super K-Pop family. Uh, take care, everyone, and wishing you a fabulous day and night. Much love from jo- Joanna. Well, uh, thank you for this lovely message, and uh, I'm enjoying my day right now. And uh, I'm thinking it's nighttime in the States. Well, uh, I hope you have a good night's rest, and uh, thank you for tuning in. All right, now the next message is from the Philippines. It's Jazzwinder Singh. Hello, Jazzwinder. And she says, hello, 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 one kind. Now, it's been so long since I last listened to you, and I really missed your voice and the way you talk. I know it's been so long, Jazzwinder. And uh, how has everything been? Uh, I'm so glad that you're back, and I really did uh, miss reading your messages. And I hope everything uh, that's going on in your life right now is going really fantastic. All right? Welcome back, and thank you. And uh, we have another message uh, from the USA. It's Madison Rice. Hello, Madison. And she says, hey, one kind, uh, how is your day going? Now, the hat that I'll make for you will be black and blue, and I will send it in the spring or summertime to you. Oh, thank you so much. And as you know, uh, one of my favorite colors is blue. And uh, I didn't know how you knew that. But, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get the hat. And uh, once I do, I'll make sure to rock it you know, every day, and uh, yeah, thank you for uh, that uh, kind of gift, but uh, I'll be waiting for that, and uh, enjoy your weekend. All right, now, you guys, it's time to check out another song, so here it is, 4L Move. All right, that was by 4L Move. Now, we have more messages coming in, and uh, this one is from France. It's Kali, and she says, Opa, uh, do you remember the first day you became the new Super K-Pop DJ? Uh, what were you feeling and how were you casted? Now, maybe you already answered this question before, but I didn't tune in. Sorry. Bon weekend, Opa. Well, uh, no, I don't think I ever answered this question, but I love it. And, uh, the, the moment that I became Super K pop DJ, I was very excited because this is something that I really wanted to do. And, uh, yeah. And the way I got casted was basically, uh, I was working at Adidam for, I believe, two to three years as a guest. And uh, through that, uh, they saw my character and uh, what I was all about. And uh, all of a sudden, voila, I'm here as uh, the Super K-Pop DJ. And it's, I think, a little bit over 
nine months and uh, I'm feeling so great. So time is truly flying and I hope uh, we can make lots of memories together here at uh, Super K-Pop. All right. Thank you for uh, your message. And uh, we have one from uh, Bangladesh. It's Shreya Tulukter. Hello, Shreya. And uh, she says, you must be busy with the Lecture Boys new upcoming album. I can't wait for that. Now, anyways, today I'm just tired after finishing four assignments. And now I just want to relax. Now, since Super K-Pop is my daily dose, I think it can help me to relax. Peace and have a nice day to you, Opa. And, uh, yeah, you need to relax. It's the weekend. And uh, great job on uh, finishing your four assignments. It's better to uh, finish it right away than doing it at last minute. But uh, I hope uh, you have a very uh, relaxed weekend. And uh, we are uh, constantly getting ready for the album. I would say it's like 50 to 60% done. And uh, I heard that we're coming out in March with the new album. So please be on the lookout for that. And uh, I'm so glad that Super K-Pop is your daily dose. Because your message is my daily dose. All right? Thank you, Shreya, for that message. And uh, we have another message uh, from USA. It's Catherine. And uh, she says, Hello, DJ One Kind. Uh, I don't normally participate in the message board, but I listen in almost every night uh, since Super K-Pop airs right uh, when I get off of work. Now, since I'm off tomorrow, I figured I would participate. Well, today I had a very bad day at work. Now, there is a girl at work that I work closely with every day, and it's not a secret that she doesn't like me. Now, but today she was very upfront about it and made comments that really upset me. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Uh, it shouldn't bother me that much, and it did. And having to smile for the patients when all I wanted to do was cry was very, very hard. Now, I told my boss, but he didn't seem to understand why it bothered me so much and that it upset me even more. Am I just being too emotional? I feel stupid for being so bothered by the situation. I hope that listening to Super K-Pop gives me energy tonight because I really need it. Well, uh, you know, by reading your message, Catherine, well, first of all, I, I just want to say thank you for uh, sharing this. And uh, I think you're not feeling too emotional. It's uh, the person that you're working with that is really, I guess... Uh, that's not, I guess, you know, coinciding with you. And uh, that could be very frustrating. So uh, I think what you need to do is, I guess, talk to her again and tell her that uh, the comments that you're telling me is really uh, making me sad and I can't concentrate on my work and uh, I have no reason to come to work feeling bad because, you know, I feel like all people should go to work with a smile on their face, you know, making it a somewhat or trying their best to make it a friendly environment. So, uh, Catherine, I think the best situation is uh, tell her one more time. Tell her how you feel. And uh, it's really bothering you. Because uh, I think when she really feels your emotions, I think she's going to somehow change those uh, bad habits. And if that doesn't work, hmm... Maybe you have to tell the boss or maybe you would think about just working in a different part uh, of your job. All right. Well, uh, I hope things get better. And remember that uh, Super K-Pop and myself were cheering on for you. All right. And hopefully the music can, you know, give you the energy that you need to uh, go back to work. All right. Thank you for your message and uh, fighting. All right. Now it's time to check out two more songs. So here it is. Chea Jeguge Aider, After Effect, Hu Yu Chung, and Shu Ai. So in love. Ladies and gentlemen, you're tuning into the best radio station. You can hear a wide variety of K pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. every day with your DJ, One Kai. Right here on Super K pop. All right, thank you for tuning in to Super K pop, and I'm your DJ, One Kai. All right, we have more of your lovely messages coming in, and this one is from Turkey. It's Barry Wan Diskaya. Hello, Barry Wan. And as she says, Hi, DJ One Kind. How are you? Hope you are good. Love you. Fighting. Well, uh, I'm doing absolutely great because, as you know, in Korea, it's the Lunar New Year's, and, uh, you know, I'm having a very, very fun time with my family and my friends and eating a lot of delicious things. But, uh, Barry Wan, how are you? And, uh, I was wondering, 
Uh, what you know special holidays、uh, do you guys have around this time? And、uh, how's the weather? All right. Thank you for your message and fighting to you too. And、uh, we have one from the Philippines. It's Denchi. Hello, Denchi, and she says, "Hi, DJ One Kai. Well, I just got home from awesome island getaway with myself and our other friends. Now we went to one of Pacman's、uh, beach resort, and it was naturally beautiful. Now my soul said you're a fan of him, so I wish you can come here too. Now if you love the beach, you will surely love it here, Opa. Please bring our、uh, PPG sister Shane with you too." And、uh, we miss you so much since she's in South Korea already. Thank you and love lots, Denchi. Well,、uh, you're absolutely right. I'm a big fan of Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao, and、uh, I heard he's gonna fight a、uh, Floyd Mayweather hopefully in the springtime, and I can't wait for that match. I think that's gonna be like the greatest fight ever in boxing history, and I'm gonna be rooting for Pac-Man. But、uh, yeah, I love summer. I love the beaches, and、uh, it would be a dream of mine to go to that resort. Hopefully, I don't know, maybe in a couple years or so. But、uh, if I do go, I'm gonna let you know. All right. Thank you for your message,、uh, Denchi. And、uh, we have one more from the、uh, USA. It's Anna Bellin. Hello, Anna. And、uh, she says, "How much do you know in Spanish?" Well, hello. It's been a long time, and I don't connect and listen to Adidang Radio. I heard just now live that you love learning Spanish. How much do you know in Spanish? Do you take classes? If you're interested, you can check this page out. And、uh, saludos a todo el staff de la radio y espe- especialmente. I hope you understood it in Spanish. Oh, and、uh, yes, thank you. Uh, I don't know what that means in Spanish. I only know a little Spanish.、Uh, for example, "Cómo estás?"、Uh, "Estás、uh, muy bien."、Mm, "Es muy bonita." You know those simple lines because、uh, back in high school, it was a recommendation that we、uh, learn a different language or another language, and、uh, Spanish was a language I learned. I mean, I learned it for like two years, but I totally forgot it all. And Anna, whenever you do have time, please、uh, teach me some Spanish because I want to get better. All right. Thank you for your message and gracias. All right, now it's time to check out another song. So here it is, Americano and Rupina. Sometimes people remember. 가끔씩 생각나는 사람이 있습니다. My song for you. Is there someone you want to congratulate? Someone you want to comfort? We'll dedicate a song to them on our corner for my song for you. And、uh, today's my song for you comes from the Philippines. It's Izzy. Hello, Izzy. And、uh, she says, "I hope、uh, this is the first time I'm doing this. Could you please play 'Kidding Me' by N O M? I dedicate to this all to the neighbors out there and also to all the listeners. Thank you." Well, this is your first time, and look, you got it. My song for you for today, so I want to congratulate you, and、uh, for you, Izzy, I'm going to play it. So let's check it out. Here it is, N O M, kidding me, Ukijima, and that was by N O M, kidding me, Ukijima. All right, now it's time for me to introduce you to a new song, and、uh, this new song is by the singer Nabi. Now the singer Nabi,、uh, who showed off her talent on Voice of Korea too, has released her first mini album. Now the title of the song, which has stylish lyrics to fit Nabi's R&B vocals, is "Morning Air." Now it's a song that showcases Nabi's best R&B style.、Uh, it's a ballad, but it also has rock elements in it to give a bit of a twist. Now, if you listen to the song,、uh, the song is about a guy and a girl. We're starting to have feelings for each other, and when what they think about it in the early morning, as they think about the other person. So、uh, we're gonna check out this new song by her. So here it is, Nabi Morning Air, Sebyok Kungi. And that was by Nabi Morning Air, Sebyok Kungi. All right, now it's time for one kind's question, but we're gonna do a feedback. And a couple of days ago, I asked you guys、uh, who gave you your name and、uh, what does it mean. And we had so many messages 
uh, due to time, I couldn't read all of it. But uh, this message is from the Philippines. It's Melanie Joy Paranol. And she says, my name is so boring, so I'm going to share my sister's name. She, she is Heroin. Uh, her nickname is Hero. Now, she was born during a national holiday uh, related to one of our national heroes in the Philippines. Wow, I love that name. And her nickname being Hero, that must be very awesome because uh, it just shows that uh, she has special powers and it uh, makes her look, you know, I guess so large and so big, so special than other people. And uh, I really like that name. But uh, thank you for uh, sharing that message, uh, Melanie. And uh, I have a question for all of you guys. If you could have a name uh, that sounds like a hero, what would it be? Mm. All right. Now we have another message uh, from uh, USA. It's Rosa. And she says, well, my name is Rosa. And it means in English, Rose. Now the name my father gave to me in honor of his sister because my aunt helped my dad when he moved to USA to study English. So she is like her second mother. Now, also, my dad said, Rosa sounds very beautiful, special when foreign people say it because they cannot pronounce it well with the R. Taquito DJ Randy. And uh, I love your name, Rosa. I love the meaning of it, Rose. I think uh, everyone would love the name Rosa. It sounds so sweet, so lovely. It's a name where you just want to uh, just have. And uh, I don't have any friends named Rosa, but I do have a friend named Rose. And uh, she lives in California, and she's also a very sweet person. All right. Thank you for uh, uh, telling me the meaning of your name. All right. Now, we have another uh, message from Singapore. It's Chloe. And she says, yo, 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 yo. I cannot really remember how long ago I chose this name for myself. Probably more than seven years. Now, I didn't find out the actual, the actual meaning of my name, just random thoughts of this name, though. So, uh, you gave your name uh, Chloe, so your parents didn't give it to you. How interesting. Well, uh, I've always liked the name Chloe, and uh, there is an actress uh, in the States with the name Chloe, and uh, she is very, very beautiful. I forgot her last name. I think she's very young. She's a very she's a newbie into the acting game, but uh, yeah, she has that name Chloe, and it reminded me of you. But uh, when I think of uh, Chloe, it gives me the meaning of like four leaf clover, maybe good luck. I don't know. That could be the meaning, but uh, yeah. Why don't you let me know what the actual meaning of your name is? All right, thank you so much, uh, Chloe. And uh, we have one more from uh, Iceland. It's eighties Johnier dot here ice ice baby. And she says, my dad gave me my name. Uh, I'm named after both of my grandmothers, and he wanted me to have those names. Now, my name, 80s, means lucky fairy. Mm. Well, first of all, I love your name, 80s. It's so, uh, it's so fresh. It's so, uh, I like it. It's so funky, and it's a name that I would want to have. And I also love the meaning to it, lucky fairy, meaning you are sweet, very, you know, lucky. Wow, you're, you know, I really envy you because if my name was 80s, I feel, I would feel like I would be a rock star. But uh, thank you for uh, your uh, message and uh, hopefully you have a great weekend. Now it's time to uh, play another song. So here it is, Chaos, Kiss, Kiss. All right, that song was by Chaos, Kiss, Kiss. And uh, for part two, we'll be having the great K-pop legend, we're going to be playing awesome, great uh, songs from back in the 90s to the early 2000s. So are you guys ready? Well, please stay tuned. And before that, I'm going to play you this song. Here it is. Ivy featuring You've Been of the Wonder Girls, I Dance. Station where you can hear a wide variety of K-pop genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with me, one time. Super K-pop. All right, you guys, welcome to part two. Uh, let me tell you once again how to join us on Super K-Pop. First, log on to www.adidangradio.com and click on the on-air button. Uh, second, you can download the Adidang Radio application on your smartphone to listen. It's free for both Android and iPhone. And third, if you're in the Jeju Island, uh, turn your radio dials to 88.7 in the Jeju area, 88.1 in the Sogipo area, and 101.9 in the Daejeon area. 
Fords, you can also tune in through TDMB Adidang Radio. Uh, no matter how you're tuning in, please log on to www.adidangradio.com and leave us your stories, request songs, answer store quizzes, and your questions for me and my guests on the Super K-Pop message board. Hong Kong DBC's digital channel, Monday through Friday at 11 p.m. to 1 a.m. And also, if you're in Busan, you can join with us. Tune your radio in Busan EFM, 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. And you can listen to Adidang Radio through TuneIn, an online radio service site with 40 million users worldwide. And you can download TuneIn through Google Play or the App Store. All right, now let's uh, check out the uh, next song. Here it is, Royal Pirates, Love Toxic, 사랑에 빠져. K-pop legend. There's a saying in Korea that a country that forgets its past has no future. Well, the same goes for individual people, and uh, we need to know where we come from to know where we're going. Well, uh, this also applies to music, and uh, without great artists in the 1990s and 2000s, we wouldn't have the K-pop we love and enjoy today. Well, uh, in the second hour, we will uh, enjoy the most memorable songs of K-pop's past in the corner for K-pop legend. And the first artist for K-pop legend is Boa. And let's check out these lyrics. Uh, I wonder what is it at the end of the faraway sea? Uh, it's probably far away from being something from this world. Will I be able to see it if I go on top of the clouds? The children playing with the trumpet with the angels. Now, what do you think? Well, uh, the lyrics are beautiful, right? Well, uh, there are times when you listen to lyrics of K-pop songs that absolutely touch your heart. And uh, the song Atlantis Princess was released in 2003 by Boa. And uh, Boa showed her incredible talents from a very young age and became a huge star in Korea and Japan. Now, uh, when this song was released, uh, she actually looked like the Atlantis Princess, uh, which earned her many uh, male as well as female fans. And all of you will probably feel great after listening to this song. Here it is, Boa Atlantis Princess Atlantis Sonyo. <laughs>
And uh, that's one of my favorite songs from Boa, Atlantis Princess, Atlantis Sonia. Well, uh, at sports uh, events in your country, I was wondering, do you guys have like talent shows or cheers that everyone uh, sings together? Well, uh, this was a tradition in Korea since a very long time ago. Uh, that's why during halftime or times when you cheer for your team, everyone sings songs that they know together. Well, uh, it's actually pretty amazing when you hear it. And uh, we're going to listen to two uh, of these type of songs. And uh, the next artist is Clone. Now, the song Kung Tari Shabara uh, was released on May 1st, 1996. And uh, it truly is the number one cheering song in Korea. Now, when the song was first released, uh, the entire nation got to their feet and sang Kung Tari Shabara and uh, together while dancing. So uh, if you hear it, you'll understand why it became such a great uh, cheering song in Korea. And uh, we're going to listen to that song in just a moment. And then the next uh, group is a very famous hip-hop group, and uh, they go by the name of DJ DOC. Now, every one of D DJ DOC's song is very exciting and fun. Uh, songs such as Summer Story, Winter Story, Beauty and the Beast, Run to You, and uh, many more are all songs uh, that would get everyone on a dance floor in a club. Now, this song was released in 1997, and uh, even after 15 years, uh, its popularity hasn't diminished at all. Now, it's a song that even gets senior excited with Dance with Grandma and Grandpa. So, uh, let's check out these two songs right now. Clone, Kung Tari Shabara, and DJ D.O.C. Dance with D.O.C. D.O.C. wa Chumur. <laughs> Oh, 
Right, those two songs were by Clone, Kung Tari Shabara, and DJ DOC, Dance with DOC, DOC Wa Chumur. All right, now, since uh, we danced it out, uh, I think it's time to shimmer down a little bit. And uh, I'm going to show you some calm but uh, very beautiful songs. And uh, in the 90s, a lot of talented female high school singers debuted. And uh, one of them is none other than Yang Pa. Now, Yang Pa means onion. Now, just like an onion, no matter how much you peel off the layers, uh, her charm just never ends. Well, even as a high school student, she was an amazing singer. And her song, Heartbeat Away, uh, it's a song very suited for high school students for its talks about her first love. And uh, I'm sure all of us can relate to the song. And uh, the song was released in 1996 and has become a popular song to sing at the Norebang, the singing rooms. It's a very adorable and loving song. So uh, let's check it out right now. Yang Pa, Heartbeat Away, is Hong Yeh's Harang. Oh, oh, oh. 
That was by Yang Pa. Heartbeat away, es un es harang. All right, now this time we're going to listen to two songs that will no doubt bring tears to your eyes. And I'm sure all of you guys uh, know the next group, and uh, it's G.O.D. Well, uh, the word mother uh, hits every one sensitive spot in their hearts, and uh, especially when you know you've mistreated her in some way. Well, uh, in Korea, there are a lot of songs about parents, But the one that really brought uh, tears to the eyes the most was G.O.D.'s To My Mother. Now, this song was G.O.D.'s debut song in 1998. And uh, it's a song about apologetic heart and regret that they have for mistreating their mother. Now, this loving song instantly was a hit. And even though some of you may not understand all of the lyrics, I'm sure you'll be able to feel the emotion just the same. And uh, we're going to listen to this song in just a moment. And uh, the next group is uh, by far one of my favorite groups uh, when I was in high school, and it's One Time. Now, on November uh, 26, 2003, One Time released their song, Cry, uh, which is a song that literally tells listeners that they want to cry. But uh, sometimes instead of comforting someone when they're sad, uh, it's better to just let them cry it all out. Now, this is a perfect song to listen to when you feel like you just want to cry it out, because it shows you that you're not alone. All right, let's check out these two songs right now. G.O.D. to my mother, 어머님께, and one time, cry. 울고 싶어라.
벌써부터 우리 집은 가난했었고 난들 다 누워서 몇번한 적이 없었고 일퇴 나가 시어머니 집에 없으면 언제나 혼자서 끓여 먹었던 라면 그러다 라면이 너무 지겨웠어 맛있는 것좀 먹자고 대들었었어 그러자 어머님이 마지 못해 꺼내신 숨겨두신 비상금으로 시켜주지 짜장면 하나에 너무나 행복했었어 하지만 어머님은 왠지 드시질 않았어 어머님은 짜장면이 싫다고 하셨어 어머님은 짜장면이 싫다고 하셨어 야야야 그렇게 살아가고 그렇게 무해하고 눈물도 흘리고 도시락 까먹을 때 다같이 함께 모여 도시락 뚜껑을 열었는데 부잣집 받을 녀석이 나에게 화를 냈어 반찬이 그게 뭐냐며 나에게 뭐라고 했어 창피했어 그만 눈물이 났어 그러자 그 녀석은 내가 온다며 놀려댔어 잠을 수 없어서 얼굴로 날아가 내 주먹에 일터에 계시던 어머님은 또 다시 학교에 끌려오셨어 아니 또 끌려오셨어 다시는 이런 일이 없을 거라며 미셨어 그 녀석 어머니께 고개를 숙여 미셨어 우리 어머니가 미셨어 야야야 그렇게 살아가고 그렇게 후회하고 눈물도 흘리고 우리는 해냈어 마침도 조그만 식당을 하나 갖게 됐어 그리 크진 않았지만 행복했어 주름진 어머니 눈가에 눈물이 고였어 어머니 원의 이름에 앞글자를 따서 식당 이름을 짓고 고사를 지내고 밤이 깊어가도 아무도 떠날 줄 모르고 사람들의 기타는 계속 되었고 자정이 다져서야 돌아가서 피곤하셨는지 어머님은 어느새 깊이 잠이 들어버리시고는 깨져있어 다시는 나 당신을 사랑했어요 한 번도 말을 못했지만 사랑해요 이제 편이셔요 내가 없는 세상에서 영원토록 그렇게 살아가고 그렇게 후회하고 눈물도 흘리고 야야야 그렇게 살아가고 너무 나쁘고 하지만 다시 웃고 손을 들고 손뼈 오늘따라 오늘따라 울적할까 울적했을까 좀금 누가 알아줄까 One more time 오늘따라 오늘따라 이리도 힘이 들까 힘이 들까 좀금 누가 알아줄까 Yeah yo 새벽 1시 반 술에 만취 한기 비는 내리고 잠도 오지 않는 밤 지치고 멍든 때때론 아픈 가슴 속 고스란히 간직한 기억들을 탈색이려 애쓰지만 이젠 온지 사인 추억뿐 나를 떠난 그리운 웃음의 흔적뿐 나오는 건 기나기니 학성뿐 모든 게 영원할 걸다 믿었던 그땐 바보 같았지만 하나 둘씩 그렇게 떠나가지 다 붙잡지 않았지만 누리고 싶었지만 홀로 남은 이 순간 네가 그리워 나 Come on 울고 싶어라 울고 싶어라 울고 싶어라 
떠난 날 바보 멍청이로 만들고 떠난 친한 여자친구 결혼한단 얘기 태연한 척하며 혼자 가슴 아파했지 Why me? 오직 여자들은 남자를 원치 않지 단지 많은 돈과 빠른 차를 갖고 싶어만 하지 그래서 남자들은 돈을 벌려 하지만 니 마치 사랑을 살수 있을 것만 같지 나이가 들면 들수록 하나 둘씩 멀어지는 친구들 어쩌다 마주쳐도 어색해진 모습 보 니가 변한 건지 내가 나도 모르게 시간 속에서 서히 변해가는 건지 울고 싶더라 울고 싶더라 나의 라이프 스토리 uh. 왜 이리도 산다는 게 힘겨운 거니 저 하늘도 가끔은 나만큼 슬픈지 지금 이 노래 듣고 있는 넌 어떠니 uh. 웃어야지 웃어야지 하면서 어색한 눈물이 흘러내려 그래도 웃어야지 참을 수 없이 목이 메여와 가슴이 아파와 울고 싶어라 울고 싶어라 울고 싶어라 울고 싶어라 genres from 4 to 6 p.m. Every day with your DJ, One Kai. Right here on Super K-Pop. Thank you for tuning in to Super K-Pop, and I'm your DJ, One Kai. And I hope you guys are having a very great time here on K-Pop Legend. And on the next artist, uh, she goes by the name of In Jung Hee. Well, uh, in 2005, a new diva appeared into her lives, and uh, it's uh, In Jung Hee. Now we're going to listen to her music, Music Is My Life Together. Now this was a perfect song for the new female singers at the time. Now it's a song that makes you feel really fresh uh, when listening to it. And In Jung Hee makes it that much more powerful. So uh, let's check out this song right now by In Jung Hee, Music Is My Life.
a very amazing vocalist, and uh, that was by Im Jung Hee. Music is my life, and uh, this song really, uh, you know, interprets my life. You know, I can't live without music, and uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys can't live without music as well. All right, now the next artist, uh, he goes by the name of Im Jae Bum. Now, uh, there's a joke in Korea that the number one thing that Korean men do that women hate is singing Im Jae Bum's confession. Now, Im Jae Bum is a phenomenal singer, and his song Confession is just as amazing. But it's not a song that most people can sing. Well, at least sing well. Uh, it actually makes uh, men look ridiculous when they try to sing it well. But uh, for some reason, they tend to always sing Im Jae Bum's song. And the song For You is another one of those songs. Uh, it was released in 2000, and after that, men fell in love with it. And I'm sure all you guys are curious to see what song I'm talking about. So I'm going to show you right after this next song intro. And uh, the next singer is Park Ki Young. Now, whenever girls go to uh, Norebang together, uh, singing rooms, they always sing this song, Park Ki Young's Last Love. Now, this song was released in the spring of 1999, and this song is a hit amongst girls who can sing very, very well. So uh, let's check out these two amazing songs right now. Im Jae Bum, For You, Noru Wee, and Park Ki Young, Last Love. Majimak Sarang. So, so. 
And those two songs were by Im Jae Bum, For You, Noru r i e and Park Ki Young. Last Love, Majimak Sarang. Very, very great songs. All right, now we're going to talk about Rain, and I'm sure all of you guys、uh, know who Rain is. Now, Rain has become an international superstar, but I'm going to introduce a song to you that he sang when he was still a rookie. Now, his debut song was Bad Boy, and through this, he showed his ultimate charisma, earning him incredible fan base. Now, afterwards, he released a song instead of saying goodbye,、uh, showing fans a cuter side to him. And、uh, for you guys that know who Rain is, he is a very great singer. But not only a great singer, but he is a very fantastic performer. And now he's all over the movies, the dramas. And、uh, I can see why a lot of the ladies love、uh, Rain. So、uh, we're going to check out this song instead of saying goodbye and,、uh, in today's K pop legend. Here it is, B, Rain, instead of saying goodbye, 안녕 이란 말 대신. Come on, yo, come on. Who are you, B? This is your B, right? <laughs> Check it out, we come on. Who's not how to go, good to go in me? Do the chair, m o 
무슨 말이길래 말을 못하는 말을 하면 혹시 내가 그만 울어버릴 까봐 못하는 말 이러면 그게 사실 이러면 그리 차라리 말을 하지마 그러면 내가 알아서 알아들을 테니 살짝 웃으며 돌아서줄 테니 네가 나의 곁을 떠나 다른 사람에게로 간다면 가면 가면 네가 떠난다면 내가 되는 것보다 다른 사람의 품이 좋다면 절대로 듣기 싫은 말이 몇개 있어 잘가 행복해 미안해 다른 사람이 생겨서 이해해 그리 그런 말들은 절대 듣기 싫어 가슴이 너무 아파 들을 수가 없어 너를 너무 사랑하나 봐 이별은 뛰어넘고 싶나 봐 이별 장면이 없는 이별을 하고 싶어 이별의 말도 눈물도 난 너무 아파 어차피 너도 말을 하기 쉽지 않을 거고 나도 들으면서 분명히 울 거고 보는 많아 네가 떠나는데 문제 많아 그리고 또 귀찮아 그리 제발 떠나 아무 말도 말아 난 괜찮아 그렇게 웃으면서 떠나 네가 나의 곁을 떠나 다른 사람에게로 Alright, that song was by Rain P. Instead of saying goodbye, 안녕이란 말 대신. Well, I hope you guys really enjoyed uh, K-pop legend today. And uh, today is uh, Saturday. So I was wondering, do you guys have any plans to go out? Or uh, did you guys already go out and, uh, you know, came back home? So if you did something, you know, interesting, uh, please let me know. Because uh, I want to know what's going on in your lives and how you guys are sending off the weekend. But uh, thank you for tuning in. And the last song for today will be by Nell, Ocean of Light. Bye-bye. <laughs>